Hello, I'm Annabelle. Hello there, my name's Rob and we work at Confection Perfection. Today we're going to show you a range of ideas on how to bake and decorate cakes. Today I'm going to show you how to make strawberry cheesecake. I've got 350 grams of digestive biscuits, 20 grams of dark brown sugar and 40 grams of melted butter. And for the cheesecake, we've got 665 grams of cream cheese, 165 grams of caster sugar, 23 grams of plain flour, four eggs, 335 millilitres of double cream and half a punnet of strawberries chopped into quite a large dice and four tablespoons of strawberry jam. Firstly, for the base, I'm going to break up the digestive biscuits into the food processor. This just makes it easier for the food presser to chop them up into a fine crumb. I'm going to blend these digestive biscuits on the food processor until they're a fine crumb. As you can see, they're now a fine crumb. I'm going to put them in our mixing bowl along with the soft brown sugar and the melted butter. Now here I've got a nine inch spring form lined tin. As you can see, the grease proof paper comes up really high over the tin. This just forms a collar to support the cheesecake whilst it's rising. And in here, I'm gonna mix our cheesecake base together, rubbing the fat into the biscuits. You can use a spoon or a spatula if you like. Personally, I find it's better just to use your hands making sure it's all well incorporated. And then we're gonna pour our biscuit base into the spring form tin. And then with the back of my hand, I'm just gently pressing down the biscuit base, but not too firm. Not, that's the biscuit base ready. Okay, for the strawberry cheesecake mix, the mixing bowl, I'm gonna add our cream cheese, caster sugar, and our plain flour. When we're mixing the cheesecake mix, we're doing it nice and slowly. We don't want to add lots and lots of air, otherwise during the cooking process, the cheesecake will souffle up and when it comes out of the oven, it'll sink back down again. So we're just doing it nice and slowly. And then we're gonna add our eggs one at a time. We're just adding the eggs one at a time, so if we were to add them all at once, it would split our cheese mix. Whilst incorporating the eggs, you can turn up a little bit if you want but not too much. And at this stage, you add your double cream. And once again, back on, on a nice slow speed, slowest, slowest speed that you've got. Just mixing it, incorporating the cream for about 30 to 45 seconds. As you can see, it's all nicely incorporated. And then we're going to add our chopped strawberries and half of our strawberry jam. I've put mine in a piping bag so I can do a little design on the top of it after I've finished. Now I'm going to fold this through nice and gently. Strawberry jam doesn't have to be really well incorporated. It's quite nice if it's marbled. And then I'm going to pour the cheesecake mix on top of our base. Now I'm just going to pour it onto the spatula itself and this stops you disturbing the crumb of the cheesecake base. And then I'm going to smooth it all off on the top, give it a nice level top. And then with our strawberry jam I'm just going to pipe some lines. and then with a knife, just feather it through. And then this is gonna go in the oven at 140 degrees centigrade for about an hour and 15 minutes. After an hour and 15 minutes and you check on it, it might seem a little bit wobbly in the middle. Don't worry about it. Leave it to cool overnight and it will set, be set by the next day. Now that's been in the oven for about an hour and 15 minutes. And you can see it looks a little bit wobbly. It's a bit scary, it looks like it's not quite cooked. It is, trust that it's cooked because once that's cooled down overnight in the fridge, that'll set up nicely. Put the 
cheesecake has set overnight, you can see that it's nice and firm to the touch. All we have to do is remove the greaseproof paper from around the sides and then slide it off onto your cake stand. And then if you want, it's fine as is, nice afternoon tea, or you can decorate it. I've got some strawberries and white chocolate here just to make it look a little bit pretty. And I've also got some chocolate here. Transfers, just to make it look a little bit posh. And that's how you make a strawberry cheesecake.